At Argyle, we have the Vermihut Worm Bin. The Vermihut Worm Bin decomposes organic materials. The materials the Vermihut uses are fruits and vegetables, newspaper, and eggshells. And right now, there is lettuce. The red wiggler worms are what helps the vermi bin decompose. The vermi hut includes four working trays, one waterproof roof, one liquid collection tray, one holding tray, and the base tray. The vermi composting is a natural process. It results in a dark, nutrient-rich soil called humus. The use of the worm speeds up the process of the decomposition. The reasons why we compost are because it's good for the earth, so things don't go in the garbage, and also it helps things grow. Hello, I'm an Argyle student, and today I will be showing you an experiment on how to suck an egg into a bottle. I believe that the egg will go into the bottle because of suction. The equipment I will be needing is a hard-boiled egg, a bottle, and three matches. The procedure to this experiment is as follows. Find a bottle with a long, narrow neck and set it on the table. The opening should be just small enough to keep the egg from falling inside. Then, you will have to boil and peel an egg. Drop three lit matches into the bottle. Quickly place the egg over the mouth of the bottle. Here is my bottle, and you can see that the egg does not fit. Every driver has a reaction time between observing that they need to apply the brakes and when they apply the brakes. Find your reaction time as follows. Hold your thumb and forefingers five centimeters apart. Have a partner hold the meter stick so that your thumb is at the zero marker. Without warning, have your partner release the meter stick. You catch it by closing your fourth finger and thumb. Record the distance mark where you catch it. Repeat three times and take the average. To find your reaction time, use the following formula. This is the formula we will be using to calculate your reaction time. Y is equal to the distance in centimeters at which you catch the ruler. G is equal to the force of gravity, which is 980 centimeters per second square. Create a sheet like this and record your three distances. To calculate your average reaction time, add the 3 up, then divide by 3. This average means the time between when you see you need to react and when you actually react. This reaction time can now be applied to other real life situations. Catching a football, avoiding a car accident by stepping on the brakes, reacting to a slip on a wet floor. Today we're going to blow up this balloon and tape it to the straw and then release the balloon. What I think will happen is the string will go flying across the classroom along the string. I think this will happen because the air in the balloon will blow out. Then you'll take your balloon and blow it up and without letting go, tape it to your straw and then release the balloon. Welcome to Argyle's One Minute Science. This is an experiment on vortexes that me and Sam have done. Today we're going to talk about two things, and that's kinetic energy and centrifugal force. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. If I were to drop the bottle, that would be kinetic energy. Potential energy is energy ready to be used. This bottle suspended above the floor is potential energy. This cell phone battery is potential energy. When I put the battery in the cell phone and turn the cell phone on and start using it, that is kinetic energy. 
Centrifugal force is the force moving outward. When I spin this bottle and the water is twirling, that is centrifugal force. As the water is being pushed to the sides, it creates a space. The space that the water is creating is called a vortex. Other examples of a vortex are when you're draining your sink and the little vortex forms in the drain, and when you drain your bathtub, the little vortex forms in the drain. The vortex is made by the forces of kinetic energy and centrifugal force. The more force you put into the more movement you get, as you can see. Now we know what potential energy, kinetic energy, and centrifugal force and a vortex is.